sister fatally stabs her nine year old sibling. And this is the moment after. Here it is. Aylan, I'm sorry. I'm so Come here. Sorry. Come here. We're just gonna put handcuffs on just for now. I'm sorry, just pull up here. Where's the knife? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. You better pray to God. I am so sorry. I'm 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 so sorry.
and the baby was just likely going to sleep, okay? Regardless of what you may believe about the parents, um, that nine year old child has to be honored that family is absolutely torn. Put up the GoFundMe. I'm going to contribute, I hope you do the same. April and the family, they have launched the GoFundMe naturally. This has created significant turmoil in their entire existence. This was a tough one, brother. Um, Normally, we don't see the precise aftermath of something like this, a very tragic family situation and death um, of a nine year old and being killed by a 12 year old sister and her raw reaction. Uh, Those things are not normative in in our review of media. Um, so it it impacted me in a way. Um, what are your thoughts? This is one of the hardest stories that I think I've ever seen, and it yeah. because um because I'm a parent. I have yeah. a ten uh, year old girl and a six year old boy. Three and a half years difference between them. The daughter hopefully will be twelve years old at some point, and son will be yeah. nine, and so they'll have that same split. And I can yeah. already see, as any parent can, you can see sometimes your kids they fight, they argue, they want more attention, they feel that the other one's getting the attention, and sometimes they strike out and lash out at each other. This is every parent's worst nightmare. Um, that Man. somebody would grab a knife for no for no reason you can understand. Um, there's just there's just no words. There's no words yeah. for it. And I just my heart breaks uh, for this family. Um, and I just I hope everybody contributes to the GoFundMe page and sends their thoughts and prayers not only to the 12 year old and her mom but also to the deceased nine year old. Yeah, horrible. 